What's up? I'm Evan. I'm Olivia. I'm Josh. I'm Ben. <laughs> We're Ski Evangelism. We're here in Slinger, Wisconsin at Little Switzerland. We got a big air event tonight. Uh, we're happy and excited to bring you guys on a trip with us. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Ski Evangelism actually started as a one-off event. Uh, last year I was on Student Evangelism Cabinet and we were just thinking of creative ways to get people engaged with doing evangelism. Um, and I was thinking about taking a team to this little place called Villa Olivia, uh, just a one night thing. And honestly, it's, it, once, we, once we planned it for one night, it became like, why not do this every weekend? And then from there it was like, well, maybe we should do this as like its own ministry team instead of just like through student evangelism cabinet all the time. So that's kind of how the, the crew got started. So doing ski evangelism is a lot of like what we're doing right now, just talking on the lift, um, finding, finding out what people's names are. Uh, I always tell people that a good like first step is just to ask people like, hey, what's your name? Where are you from? Um, that way you can at least be praying for them. Um, and a lot of times we'll as a team make a list of all the names that we've collected um, and then a good second step is like, how can I be praying for you? Um, and then sometimes as you get to know people, getting to know the lifties from going back time and time again, you can actually build a little bit of a relationship, uh, get their number, um, and follow up with other stuff that we can invite them to. So we got to get off the lift though. So. <laughs> Last weekend, we were supposed to go skiing, but there wasn't enough snow, so we went tubing instead. Um, and we were getting to know the, the guys who were running the, the tubing at the top of the hill. Um, and by the end of the night, we were able to actually get together with them, uh, circle around and ask them how we can be praying for them. Um, and at first they were kind of, they were a little bit taken aback by it. They definitely weren't expecting it. Um, and they, they didn't really know how to respond. And they just kind of sent us down the hill. And then when we came back up, um, they actually all had things that we could be praying for for them, which was really cool. But yeah, I mean, so we, we get to know people uh, through helping them out and being friends with people, but we also get to know people um, through just repetitive going up and down the lifts, talking to the lifties, uh, getting on lifts with people, and trying to circle back and have those conversations uh, that you don't usually get to have. So, yeah. So kind of the vision of ski evangelism is to see people and inspire people to not necessarily put ministry in a separate sphere uh, from like the things that we actually have have been created to enjoy doing. Um, our philosophy is basically that God gives us passions and hobbies and things that we love doing um, for a reason. And like the, those reasons, it's a multifaceted uh, thing. Like it's not necessarily just to do ministry, but I think like if you're already passionate about skiing, for instance, like, like we are, uh, why not use that as a way to do ministry? Because um, you already have common ground with other people who are passionate about skiing. Um, and it's just like an instant like friendship, an instant something that you have in common. And, and like I said, I think the broader vision is to uh, one day, yeah, just kind of share that with the rest of campus. Um, but I mean, when we graduate, the ministry that we'll be doing is actually gonna be in the workplace um, at the pickleball courts on Saturday morning. Uh, on the ski slopes, on the mountain when you're hiking, um, you know, just like those more organic places. And so I think learning how to do that here together um, is just like vital for doing it well when we graduate. And also just like keeping it on, on the front of your mind, you know, um, that like when I go into a certain space, like, yes, I can go in and kind of consume the things that I am used to consuming, like just having fun skiing, like there's nothing wrong with that. But also like why not go skiing or go canoeing or go backpacking uh, with the mentality of like this is a space to share the gospel um, and just being intentional with that. Yeah, so uh, next year for Ski Evangelism, uh, we have a lot of things to look forward to. Um, we're looking for ways to be more sustained, have a more sustained presence. Right now we go to this place called Villa Olivia, which is like a little ski slope in Bartlett, Illinois. And we've just been going on Friday nights uh, during a quad of spring semester and just going and talking to people, praying for them. Um, but because of poor weather over the last two years, we're looking to find a way to be more like present in a more sustained manner. Um, and so 
we'll be looking into possibly having a couple different volunteer teams uh, to run tubing or to run ski patrol. And we'll probably still be running our, uh, our weekly outings on Friday nights as well. Um, so there's a lot more programming in the works for next year, as well as we'll keep doing our ski life nights. This year we had a ski life night. It was a huge success uh, where we invited people to bring their gear, to bring their snowboards and their skis to Kore, and we played some music, had a devotional, and we waxed our gear um, together, which was a lot of fun. We had some food, and some snacks, and some games. So that's more just like community building, um, getting to know who the other skiers and snowboarders are on campus, and also providing a space uh, to invite people that we meet out on the slopes back into. Um, to hear the gospel in a more explicit uh, manner through the devotional. So all those things are just things to be looking forward to for next year as well. If you want to get involved, um, you can look for things for next year. Apply for cabinet would be like the, the thing that you could do um, to actually have a, a little bit of a fingerprint on the ministry for next year.